Hello! In today's video we're going to be looking at controlling devices around the home with smart plugs and also tracking their energy usage. So let's get on with it! Roll titles! Welcome to the channel if it's your first time here and welcome back if it's not. So that's right, in today's video we're going to be looking at this. And this is a Tapo mini smart Wi-Fi plug energy monitor and the model number is the Tapo P110M. Now this costs $9.99 which I think is a pretty good price for a product like this really especially because it's a TP link product and they are a relatively well known and good brand. I do sometimes worry about the random Chinese brands that you see crop up on Amazon and eBay. At least you know with TP link it's going to be well made and also goes through the relevant safety and testing standards whereas other no-name ones might not have done and obviously this is only suitable for UK plugs but they do sell different models that work for your Europeans and your America's plugs and all that kind of stuff but yeah it's essentially the same thing but just with a different plug socket on. So what is a smart plug? Well they've been around for a little while now and basically they allow you to control your devices that plug into the wall by an app or your virtual assistant such as the A word and also the G word. Yeah this basically means you don't have to go over to the wall and switch the power on or off. You can turn the power off to your device via the app or a digital assistant. As well as that, this will also tell you the energy use that's being used by the device or devices that are plugged in through this. So it's quite interesting to track how much energy something is using. So for example, you could see how much energy like a console is using while it's switched on or a computer. I mean, I dread to think how much energy my computer behind me uses. I probably won't look because it'll just terrify me. Now because of time of filming it's very near Christmas and people are putting up Christmas tree lights and things like that. I thought I'd make this video basically around controlling Christmas tree lights via this but pretty much anything that plugs into a wall you can turn the power on and off to using this and also I guess you could probably plug an extension lead into this and control multiple things in one go but obviously don't overload it this is only rated for up to 13 amps it does say on the box max 13 amps so talking about the box tells you some of the functions so you can have an auto off timer uh, you can remote control as I say it's flame retardant excellent and it's all controlled by an app that you can get from the appropriate app store or scanning that QR code before we get this bad boy out of the box, please do consider giving this video a like and maybe commenting below. Let me know what you might use this to control if you had one of these. Anyway, let's get into the box and see what's in here. I mean, I don't think there's going to be much at all really because it's a very small box. Aha, so this can also be controlled via Matter, which I think is a sort of open source, smart internet of things type device management system. I've not used Matter at all and I don't really have much knowledge about it from probably what you can tell by the way I'm talking about it but yeah it's compatible with Matter and um, if you use it then you can use this with it. So we've got a quick start guide, we've got some sort of QR code thing to use it with Matter, okay and yeah that is our device it's pretty simple and straightforward really so it plugs into the wall this side and whatever device you want to control or track the energy usage of plugs into here. Uh, we've got a status LED at the top there. It's a little bit difficult to see. And I think this is uh, probably a power override button. So this is essentially the same as turning the switch on or off, but just doing it with this little button here rather than at the wall. Because obviously if you turn the power off to the wall, then this doesn't have any power and therefore cannot control the lights anymore. So this is just basically a replacement for that. Well, let's bring in some power and um, plug it in. So the light up there is flashing. So I guess probably now is a time 
to open up the app and try and get this registered onto our Wi-Fi. Now this works via Wi-Fi, I don't think it works via Bluetooth. So once it's plugged in, it will connect to your wireless network and you can control it via that. Um, but we need to set that up first, so let's do that. Right, okay, so I'll make it so you can see my phone on this side of the screen. So we'll go into the Tapo Apo. Okay, so I guess we need to press the add button. Add device, local network permission needed. Okay, that's basically given permission for the app to speak to devices on the local network. So let's go, I've already given local network permission, done. What do we want to add? We want to add a plug. So we want to add a P110M. Oh look, there is a Bluetooth version of it as well. That's good. So you can control them via Bluetooth should you wish to, but this is a Wi-Fi version. There we go. So it wants to use Bluetooth during setup and that's just to sort of ping information to it during the setup process. So we'll say, okay. Um, and our light is flashing orange and green. It's a bit difficult to see, but it definitely is already orange and green. So now my phone is trying to find this plug. Oh, found it. There we go, nice. Okay, so it's asking for some local networks to join. Now, it only seems to be compatible with 2.4 gigahertz local networks, which is um, okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in all my local network information. Obviously, you can't see this bit, so uh, bear with me. So it seems to be transferring the Wi-Fi information that I put into my phone to this guy here, so it can connect to the Wi-Fi. There we go. So it says name your device, uh, it's come up with smart plug. Let's keep it with that device name. So obviously you could call it Christmas tree lights, you could call it outside lights, you could call it whatever you want really. And I think whatever name you give it will be the name that you use to turn it on and off using your voice assistants. Uh, but yeah, we'll just say smart plug for now. And oh, okay, so it's asking where we want to have it. We'll just say living room and we can give it an icon if we want to. Um, just give it like the strip light icon. Yeah, why not? Almost done. Ah, okay, so it probably wants to do a firmware update. Of course it does. Okay, well, we'll let it do that firmware update. While it's doing that, what I'll do is shout out all the people that have joined the channel. Joining the channel costs from 99p per month. You can join for as long or as short an amount of time as you want. And it basically helps me afford devices like this to produce videos on. So the more people that join, the better and bigger videos that I can create on a variety of products. Let's uh, start the update procedure and shout out all those awesome people who have already joined. First up, we have those kit fan to our Matt Lovies, JRC Electrical for the Burbs, Mark C and Wayne Cornish. Then we've got those amazing early birds who are Roberta Gerson, Dean Ball, Sean at Cablesmith Electrical, Wayne's Retro World, Tim Salt, Sorcerer Stan and Adventure Rachel. And oh my God, I love these people so much. They are the kit lovers and they are the bestest. And they are Bella Webster, Lawrence Stez Dixpix and Richard R Blaster. Then we've got our gorgeous, wonderful kit nutter here. It's Becky Becky Boobar. Thank you so much for your support, Becky. And boom, let's get those cannons out for the kit mental who is Ellis Garbutt. He is back and he's bad as ever. Thank you so much, Ellis. You're a wonderful human being. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So thank you to all those awesome people. And uh, yeah, this is all now set up and ready to use. Awesome, sounds good. Okay, so it can automatically be configured to update the firmware. And it's asking the times that you'd want it to configure it. And obviously, probably at those times, the device will turn itself off and back on again. So, you know, you can set it, but I'll say three to five is fine by me. Cool, right, so. In theory, we press this button, it makes a small little relay click noise. Yeah, there we go, so. And then the light becomes green. It's really hard to see on the camera, but it's doing it. So that definitely seems to be working. Awesome. Right, let's uh, plug something into it and get smart. Okay, so I've just got a bundle of Christmas tree lights. Now, obviously, if you use something like, say, twinkly Christmas tree lights, then you don't need 
to have a smart plug because they've got smart controls. I'll stick a link to a video that I've done about some twinkly lights up here because they are awesome. But you know, this is great for just your sort of random, bog standard, stupid lights. Okay, so our lights are off at the moment. But if we press the button in the app, there we go, they're on. And off. And on. I think there's a slight delay on them coming on because there's some sort of controller in this and I think they always take a moment or two to come on. So yeah, it's not that this is slow, it's just that it's got a controller in here. So if we press the power button on the side, that should be the same as turning it on or off in the app. Yes, and the app is changing to reflect that as well, which is pretty smart. There we go, right. So let's press on it and maybe can we see some energy usage information? There we go, look at that, that's so cool. So at the moment we can see that it's currently drawing less than one watt of power. So LED Christmas lights are always quite, um, you know, energy efficient. And there you go, it's showing you the energy usage so far. So we're using 0 0.001 of a kilowatt hour and also how long it's run for. There's some more information. Okay, so obviously because we've not been using this very long, there's not much data to be shown, but that's really quite interesting. You can actually put in how much your electricity costs and this will tell you how much this is costing you to run, which I think is quite interesting. And you could obviously see if there was something like a games console or something like that, you would be able to see how much it's using when it's powered on, how much it's using when it's powered off. Games consoles these days quite often don't go like off off, they go into like a sleep mode and you know, they still use a bit of power. Now what other things we've got? Okay, so there's a schedule setting. So with this you can change when the device turns on or off over a certain period of time. Nice. And again, you've just got the bog standard timer. So you could say, when this timer ends, turn the device off and turn it on again. So that's like a really simple control. So you could say, keep these lights on for five minutes and turn them off. Nice. And if we click in the corner up here of the app, we've got some more settings. So we can change the name and the location. And I assume with this LED thing, yeah, we can make it so the LED doesn't have to come on if you don't want it to, which I think is really smart. Especially if, say, if you've got this in a bedroom, you don't want a LED burning through the night. So it's like, ah, it's good to be able to control it. And so the default state of when it's plugged in or not, you can change as well. Nice. And also power protection, nice. Oh, cool, so you can make it so it powers off if it goes over a certain wattage. Amazing. That's cool, I like that. So if something's drawing too much power and sucking too much electricity and costing you more money, you can go, nah, -uh, and it will power it off. Very clever, very clever. All right, I want to make this work with my Amazon Assistant. So let's see if we can figure that out together. So if we go into me and then third party services, there we go. So we can link it to the A word, we can link it to the Google Assistant, we can link it to Samsung Smart Things. we can add it to our voice assistant on our iPhone, and we can also connect it to IFTTT. Well, okay, so we'll link it to the A word. There we go, so link our accounts. So it's going into my A word account now. Yep, yeah, we'll want to link. So is that done? Let's give it a go. I'll obviously have to blink the salient word here. Alexa, turn off smart plug. Alexa, turn on smart plug. <laughs> That's so smart. It just, yeah, that was literally it. There was like no crazy hard configuration. It just did it. Wow, that's so simple. So you could change the name of this smart plug to Christmas tree lights and you could then say A word, turn on or off 
Christmas tree lights and control them that way. As well as having all the sort of different options in the app for schedules and timers. Well, there you go, that is so smart. It's really simple and straightforward to use and set up, as you've seen. And you can use it for a whole multitude of things. I mean, you could set it up and plug a lamp into this and sort of mimic the, your presence in the house when you're not there. You know, you can make it turn the lamp on at dusk and turn off and, you know, at random intervals maybe just to make it look like you're there. So you could use it for security as well. And, you know, you can have as many of these as you want around your home connected to the Wi-Fi and you can control a whole manner of things. I think $9.99 is a very reasonable price for something like this. And also, it's actually not too big and cumbersome. It's, it's pretty small for a device of this type. It doesn't look like you've got a lunchbox plugged into your wall. It's actually a nice sort of discreet size. I don't think you could actually physically make anything much smaller than this because you know the pins have got to go in Oh yeah, what an awesome little device. Well, I hope you found that interesting. If you have, then please make sure you give this video a like and maybe drop a comment below. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I've got anything else to say. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but for now, it's game over.